in this video we will talk about the great king kanishka kanishka is one of the most important figure in uh, buddhist history of gandhara because he is the one responsible for the transformation of buddhism so it's very interesting and be with us for the for the complete video and let us know in our in the comment comment section about the video and about the greatness of gandhara and kanishka uh, kanishka's role in uh, transforming uh, buddhist philosophy before going to the video please uh, like our video uh, subscribe our channel and uh, also share it with your friends because it's very very important we will only work if you gave us a good positive feedback kanishka ad 78 was the most important king of the kushana dynasty who created the greatest empire after ashoka which stretched from the oxus in central asia to the ganges in india and from the caspian to the arabian sea ashoka had ruled his vast empire from pataliputra in the east of india while kanishka administered his own from peshawar the city of flowers which was the most central place at that time His reign is considered to be the golden age of ancient history of Pakistan in which tremendous progress was made in almost all the fields. His contribution to the Buddhist religion was so great that he is known as second Ashoka and some of the scholars call him greater than him. Professor H C Rai Choudhury has justly observed that the kushana age was a period of great literary activity is proved by the works of aswagosha nagarjuna and others it was also a period of religious ferment and missionary activity and it saw the introduction of buddhism into china by kasyapa mathanga ad 61 67 kanishka adorned his capital with buddhist monasteries and built the tallest stupa over the relics of the buddha which was the wonder of the buddhist world it is presumed that before his conversion to buddhism he believed in a large number of gods which we find on his coins while some of the writers think that the followers of different religions lived in his vast empire whom he showed great toleration probably it was aswagosha who was responsible for his conversion He did a lot for the spread of Buddhism and repaired the old monasteries and built new ones. A lot of money was distributed among the monks for their maintenance and innumerable stupas were built in the memory of the Buddha. The missionaries were also sent to foreign countries and their efforts resulted into the spread of Buddhism in China, Central Asia, Mongolia and Tibet. They yielded fruitful results several centuries later when Mahayanism of Gandhara landed from Korea into Japan, the land of the rising sun. He summoned the Fourth Buddhist Council, which was attended by 500 monks, including Vasumitra, Aswagosha, Nagarjuna, and Parswa, who were the luminaries of his court. Its purpose was to settled the disputed points in buddhism of that time the entire buddhist literature was thoroughly examined and voluminous commentaries on the three pitakas were also prepared they were embodied in a book known as mahavibhasha which is the greatest work on the buddhist philosophy the decision of the council were inscribed on sheets of copper and enshrined in the stupa specially built for this purpose which still await the spade of archaeologist taranath the tibetan historian informs us that the council settled the dispute between 18 schools of buddhism which were all recognized as orthodox